What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to part 7 of the Beginner's Roblox GFX tutorial series and in this one I want to show you guys how to um, do some basic blur effects. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it and uh, leaving off from the previous part, um, here are the layers. I have the adjustments right here and the main layer right here. So I'm going to hold control. I'm going to click on the second one so I have both. And now I'm just going to hit Control G on my keyboard to make a group. Now I'm going to hit New Layer. All right, I'm going to go up to Image and I'm going to hit Apply Image. Now, what this is going to do, this is going to take what's on the screen and it's just going to apply it to one image, as you can see right here. So we have the entire image uh, in one layer right now. So let's make a copy by hitting Control J on a keyboard. So now that we have a duplicate layer, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up here to Filter. And if you can see the Blur option, there are a ton of blurs you could do. You could do Average Blur, Blur, um, Lens Blur, all that. Right now, let's just focus on a Gaussian Blur. So hit the Gaussian Blur button. And as you can see, this pop-up will appear and you can take preview on and preview off. Uh, obviously, you want it on unless you have a very low end computer, then you could, you know, then uh, you should have it off. But here radius, you could drag the slider or you could manually input your own number. Um, for this uh, piece right here, let's go for a 4.0 radius. 4.0 uh, radius and we're just gonna hit OK. Now if you remember in the last video when we added adjustment layers like uh, for example black and white right here by clicking on the layer mask icon this white icon and go into your brush tool when you have your color black this will hide the effects so as you can see if I paint it will hide the black and white effects right so you can do the same thing for the blur right here. So, so have the blur layer selected and go down right here. And next to the adjustment layers uh, button is going to be this button right here. It says add layer mask. Just click on that. And now you have added a layer mask to your blur. So if we use our brush tool with the color black opacity, um, I'm just going to adjust Opacity is somewhere around 40 and flow is somewhere around 25. Hardness is all the way down. So now what we could do is we could just brush away on the areas using the color black that we don't want to be blurred. So Thanos, obviously I don't want to be blurred. And obviously if you switch the color to white, it will uh, bring it back. So Iron Man, Thanos and Spider-Man right here and turn it on and off and as you can see the background is now a lot more blurry so that right there is a gaussian blur um let's go over to the next kind of blur you could you can do so i'm gonna hide that and now i'm going to duplicate again let's go up to filter let's go to blur and this time let's head for a radio blur now this one let's not have a preview but it's fine um so how this works is right now it's automatically set to spin so the blur you can see the preview this is the origin point so it's going to spin around right and if you move this for example if you move it right here i'm just gonna hit okay to, i'm just gonna hit okay to show you guys it will spin right over there so as you can see 10 is a it's quite a, a strong blur so I want to say we could go for five and place the point in the middle. Now let's hit OK. As you can see, that right there is the blur. You can add the layer mask and hide certain areas the same way. So just like that. If you want to do like a very action kind of scene, you can see the radio blur. Now the next option on radio blur, there is another one. And this right here is zoom. 
which I think is a lot better. So let's hit okay. So for zoom, um, I'm gonna increase it to 15. Try this a little bit more. And now we're gonna hit okay. And as you can see, this right here is zoom. And we can also add the layer mask again and hide some uh, specific areas just like that. Obviously, you could mix multiple blurs. You uh, have the Gaussian blur in the back. So that right there is the zoom blur. Now, if you want to mix this with the Gaussian blur, you're going to have to go to the uh, radio blur right here. You zoom, and this time you want to take your eraser tool, and we just erase out certain areas. That. And uh, yeah, there we go. So we get both the Gaussian blur as well as the zoom blur right here. So that right there is pretty much the basics for how to blur in Photoshop. Um, yeah, just a quick run through. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, check out our store. And with that being said, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.